Hola amigos, welcome back to another video. I'm standing right here in front of my beautiful Spider-Man display. I get a lot of questions on this guy, a lot of comments every time I post a picture on Instagram. What is that beautiful costume? Is it for sale? I'm gonna answer some of those questions right now. It is not for sale. It is a beautiful Spidey Planet. Uh, replica. It is uh, displayed on a flexible mannequin and it's wearing my muscle suit underneath. Uh, the muscle shirts I've shown you guys a bunch of times already as well as the legs. So these guys were made by Yuri in the Netherlands um, and unfortunately for all of us it's uh, discontinued or not made anymore um, for reasons unknown but uh, it's a beautiful work of art, as you can see. It's a very faithful replica to what was seen in the film. Uh, made, actually, with a lot of production pieces. I know the shell, not this one, but the, the, the latest shell that he had was a scanned, one-to-one, uh, -one, um, digitally scanned uh, buck from the film. Unfortunately, yeah, not made anymore. You can uh, ask uh, Yuri yourself. You can like maybe beg him, um, <laughs> see if something happens. But um, yeah, uh, as far as I know, these are not made anymore. Actually, let me stop right there. Update time. As you can see, I grew a beard. Some time has passed since I started recording this video. Uh, the suit is now available through me. So Yuri passed on the torch. So if you want a full costume with the muscle suit that goes with it hit me up because now i am going to be offering the same exact quality with the same materials everything provided by yuri to me uh all the fabrics all the materials and then i'm going to be putting it together for you guys if you're interested in the full enchilada the full beautiful beautiful sam raimi trilogy spider-man costume so that's great news huh um, but, uh, what we're going to talk about is one thing that is available still to this day through Yuri Spidey Planet, uh, on shapeways.com. You can order that shell that I was just talking about, the one that's like super accurate and the frames and lenses. Uh, these guys don't come finished with the shell kit. It's a, it's kind of like a DIY kit. Uh, but uh, Yuri's a friend of mine uh, and we talk all the time and he asked me if I was interested in uh, finishing these for you guys like assembling painting them doing all that good stuff I said yes of course anything to keep the OG Spidey going uh, for all of those purists out there like myself who still consider this to be a beautiful if not the most beautiful uh, movie Spider-Man to date um, so that's what today's video is about. I'm going to show you guys how I am replicating Yuri's, uh, paint job and, um, assembly on the lenses. I'm using exactly the same materials, uh, the concave glass, the, the same wire mesh, uh, same anti-fog. I'm going to show you guys how it all comes together and, uh, let's do it. order from Shapeways you're gonna get a couple different choices um, mainly in the color of the resin that it's uh, printed on the frame uh, this the white kind is the more affordable one I can't remember the price off the top of my head but this is uh, what you want to get if you're gonna do the paint job yourself it just takes the paint better of course you're gonna be doing a lot of sanding to get them uh, prepped for for paint uh, this is, and I'm not even done with these ones, but you know, you sand and you prime and you get start to get that paint on there. Um, these are the stencils that I, that you can also, I believe you can still get these. Uh, this is for the two-tone uh, paint job. So this would go and then get that little guy on there so that you can do uh, 
Sorry guys, a little tricky to do with the one hand. So once this is all black, it's all nice and sanded, you're gonna put this piece on top to kind of keep the inner part of the frame black as you do the silver or gunmetal finish on top. Then uh, this is the stencil for the polarization. As you can see, it's just kind of like a, a perforated mesh. Uh, so this is what I airbrush through to get the nice little uh, finish on the lens that you see on the finished product. But before we launch into the lens detailing, let's start with the frames. You're gonna be doing a lot of sanding to begin with. So grab your sponge and get to it. Once you're ready to start priming the frames, you can go with one of these Krylon products. Um, I prefer the non-gloss to begin with and then a gloss once it's a little bit smoother. Just uh, do even coats in every direction. You're gonna wanna do this in every angle, side to side, then you know switch uh, to the back and do that as well. Um, just nice even coats. You don't need to cake it on too much at this point because you're still gonna be doing a lot of sanding after this. So you can see here in the sun with the flat black, you can still pick up some of that 3D printing uh, ridging that happens. Um, that's why you're gonna wa wanna go back and uh, and do a little bit of more sanding, some wet sanding with the, it doesn't have to be too much of a, of a gritty sandpaper. Um, you can continue to use the sponge, uh, the medium coarse sponge, or something even a little finer, depending on how hard you went the first time. Uh, the medium grade sponge does a pretty good job, but then you might want to switch to something like a 2000 right here um, and then just kind of smooth it out even more as much as you can. The end goal is to lose that ridging completely from the 3D printing. Make sure to get the outer and inner edges of the frames. That's what's going to give you that nice polished look. As you can see in Spidey Planet's video here, he goes inside and out and all around. And that's what really gives you that nice polished dilution to the frames. At this stage, you can paint the frames gloss black. And once you place the top uh, stencil on the inner frame, it's going to give it that two-tone appearance. So you can go in on the outside with some lacquer. Uh, there's some really nice enamels in gunmetal gray. What I'm using here is uh, uh, one of the ones from Testers that includes the primer, paint, and sealant all in the same can. And that really prevents uh, any uh, issues afterwards if I'm trying to do like a top coat uh, and it's a different brand. Sometimes you get issues with that. With this, I get a nice, even, smooth finish. And with this paint, you can kind of do several layers until you have that nice, finished, polished look. These are the three different cans that I've tried. The Testers Gunmetal Gray with graphite in it. Um, this is the one that I was using in the video. It includes everything in the can. And this Duplicolor Perfect Match uh, in Gunmetal Gray also gave me similar results. All three I would recommend, uh, especially the testers. So as far as the paints you're gonna need, um, this is what I use. Autoborn from Auto Air Colors. This is a transparent sealer. So this goes right on the glass, just a thin coat um, to get the paint to adhere. Um, then for the edges, I use this uh, color shift uh, this one, as you can see here, it's iridescent and it just goes from like purple to blue, it's teal to purple. So that's what gives it that nice little uh, edge. And then for the polarization effect, I use uh, a pearl from Aztec right here. So that's what uh, I use for the little dots that you see. And that's it, you guys. So it's pretty straightforward. 
Once again, I'm gonna refer to Spidey Planet's beautiful video capturing every stage of the paint job on the lenses. It's really hard to do this, you guys, with one hand on my cell phone and the other on my airbrush. So I'm just gonna let him show you in his time lapse how you achieve the effect. And here is my finished frame with the painted lenses all installed in all its glory. As you can see, you get that nice little polarization effect, that two-toned look, um, the nice edges. Everything looks beautiful and very, very much like it did on film. And you'll be really proud if you get this effect. But do not get discouraged, my friends, if you don't get it at the first time. I actually painted several before I got the paint, paint job correctly. Um, the reason is sometimes if you overdo it on the sealer, that initial sealant, you're going to get um, a loss of clarity on the glass, which is to be expected. So it took several tries, as you can see here. My main issue was the loss of vision that you would get by using the sealant straight from the bottle. So what I ended up doing was using a reducer to help thin that down. And once I did that, close to perfect vision on the lenses. And I was pretty happy about that. Sometimes, you know, that's about 80, 90% of the job of the paint job is just the, the prep work that it takes to paint the actual item you're about to paint. And, uh, and it's true, especially in this case, because there's not much to painting these, but there's a little bit of work in getting them ready for the actual paint. So again, you can see here, that is, through the lens that's already been painted and you get pretty clear and um, close to perfect vision, really. You can't complain about that. Now the very last step is just assembling these and you'll be really happy to find out you don't need any special tools, no special adhesives or glues, aside from the couple drops of Gorilla Glue or Crazy Glue that you're gonna put where the magnet goes. But other than that, those ridges are designed to keep the glass, the mesh, and the anti-fog film all sandwiched in between uh, each other and on the inside of the frame. So. All you need to do is just kind of slide them in there once you place them all together. The wire mesh goes sandwiched in between the glass and the anti-fog film is actually a sticky back so it adheres to the mesh making it even easier to just sandwich and slide everything on the inside of the frame. As you can see on this finished frame here, everything just slides into the ridges and you're good to go. So no special tools nothing uh, to glue down. All it needs is the magnet at this point, which I also provide if you get these from me. It'll come with the concave glass. It'll pretty much come ready to go, ready to install on your mask. But if you decide you wanna pick up the kit uh, from Shapeways, those are just the steps you need to follow to finish these on your own. So good luck. Let me know if you have any questions. So there it is, amigos. That is how you paint and finish your Spidey planet frames and lenses from Shapeways. If you have any questions, sound off below, or even better, if you're part of my Amigo network on my Patreon, I am always willing and able to help you guys out one-on-one. -on -one. So just let me know. Um, I'm always posting these videos earlier on, on Patreon, so please consider joining. There's uh, tiers that start at just $1, and it is greatly, greatly appreciated. A very special gracias to Mike De La Vega for being one of my patrons. I love you, Mike. Thank you so much for making videos like this possible. And I hope to continue to bring more quality content for all my patrons and you lovely people that have subscribed on YouTube as well. I love you all. See you next time. Bye. Willing to come.